Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we are going to generate the detailed concept about plant layout, principles of plant layout, and the commonly known types of layout. This video is the fourth class of our course on materials handling and maintenance engineering. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Plant layout. Plant layout is the optimum arrangement of facilities including personnel, operating equipment, storage space, material handling equipment and all other supporting services along with the design of the best structure to contain all these facilities. Now, let's look at the principles of plant layout that are followed in general. Number 1. The principle of minimum movement. Materials and labor should be moved over minimum distances, saving cost and time of transportation and material handling. Number 2. The principle of space utilization. All available cubic space should be effectively utilized both horizontally and vertically. Number 3. The principle of flexibility. Layout should be flexible enough to be adaptable to changes required by expansion or technological development. Number 4. The principle of interdependence. Interdependent operations and processes should be located in close proximity to each other, to minimize product travel. Number 5. The principle of overall integration. All the plant facilities and services should be fully integrated into a single operating unit, to minimize cost of production. Number 6. The principle of safety. There should be inbuilt provision in the design of layout to provide for comfort and safety of workers. Number 7. The principle of smooth flow. The layout should be so designed as to reduce work bottlenecks and facilitate uninterrupted flow of work throughout the plant. Number 8. The principle of economy. The layout should aim at effecting economy in terms of investment in fixed assets. Number 9. The principle of supervision. A good layout should facilitate effective supervision over workers. And finally, Number 10. The principle of satisfaction. A good layout should boost up employee morale by providing them with maximum work satisfaction. Now, let's look at the four commonly studied types of layout in a production plant. 1. Process layout or functional layout. 2. Product layout or line layout. 3. Combination layout. 4. Fixed position layout. We will now discuss about them in details. Let's start with process layout or functional layout. In process layout all machines performed similar types of operations are grouped together at one location. Examples, all lathes, all milling, all shaper etc. are grouped at one location will be clustered in like groups. Thus, in process layout the arrangement of facilities are grouped together according to their function. In this figure of the process layout or functional layout, we can see that, all the drilling machines, milling machines, lathe machines, shaper machines are grouped together separately in particular areas. They are not arranged according to the sequence of operations for a product. Product layout or line layout. If all the processing equipment and machines are arranged according to the sequence of operations of the product, the layout is called product type of layout. In this type of layout, only one product of one type of products is produced in an operating area. In this figure we can see a product layout or line layout, where machines are arranged in a line according to the sequence of operations of the product. Combination layout. It is also called the hybrid or mixed type of layout. Usually a process layout is combined with the product layout. For example, refrigerator manufacturing uses a combination layout. Process or functional layout is used to produce various operations like stamping, welding, heat treatment are carried out in different work centers. The final assembly of the product is done in a product type layout. In this figure we can see a combination layout, where the individual parts of a product goes through all required processes using a process layout. Then all these processed parts are assembled together in a product layout, to form the final product. The fixed position layout. In fixed position layout the material or major components remain in a fixed location and tools, machinery, men and other materials are brought to this location. Examples include, 
the construction of bridges, ships, large airplanes, locomotives, large machinery, etc. In this figure we can see the fixed position layout designed for the construction of an airplane, where all necessary parts, men, machine and materials are brought to the location of construction of the product. This type of layout is used if the product being manufactured cannot be easily moved during production. Now that we have discussed about them in details, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of different types of layouts. The advantages first. Process layout or functional layout. Flexibility of equipment and personnel. Variety of job makes the job challenging and interesting. Supervisors will become highly knowledgeable about the functions under their departments. Higher utilization of production facilities. Product layout or line layout. Reduced material handling cost due to straight flow material handling systems. Simplified production, planning and control. Small amount of work in process inventory. Unskilled workers can learn and manage the production. Perfect line balancing which eliminates bottlenecks. Combination layout. Flexibility for more complex products. Better utilization of floor space and less backtracking material flow. Fixed position layout. It involves least movement of materials. There is maximum flexibility for all sorts of changes in product and process. A number of quite different projects can be taken with the same layout. Now, the disadvantages or limitations of using each of these layouts are as follows. Process layout or functional layout. Backtracking and long movements of materials reduced material handling efficiency. Production planning and control is difficult. More space is required. Lower productivity due to number of setup. Product layout or line layout. Lack of flexibility. A change in product may require the facility modification. Large capital investment. Dependence of the whole activity on each part. Combination layout. Difficult for workers to understand the work. Arrangement is complicated. Fixed position layout. It involves high equipment handling costs. There appears to be low utilization of labor and equipment. So, we have learnt about plant layout, principles of plant layout, and the commonly known types of layout, along with the advantages and limitations of using each of them in details. In the next video, we will discuss in details about materials flow patterns, the relationship between plant layout and material handling, and the material handling activities and functions. Thank you.